I have teached over 2000 people how to properly trade and this is what I learned from it. Over the last couple of years, I had over 2000 students that I have taught how to properly trade and navigate in the cryptocurrency space and also trading wise. Now, when you have these kind of numbers, you have a lot of crazy stories and a lot of takeaways from the lessons. And also what I learned was how I can actually improve not only myself as a teacher, but also my programs over time, which I then of course also did. So here are some of the crazy stories that I want to share with you first before I go in all to the other things. The craziest story is the first student that I ever had. And you might actually watching this video here, it watches a lot of my content actually. This client was from Ukraine. At the time I was living in Ukraine, that was way before the war, that was in spring 2019. And this guy lived before in my apartment in Kiev when I rented it out on Airbnb while I was on holidays. That's how we actually met. And he knew that I was well off already from crypto and he was kind of interested. What is crypto, what I'm doing with it, how I make money of it, because he came to the apartment. He saw I was on the way to fly to Bali at the time with a beautiful girlfriend. And he saw that I was well dressed and I had a really fancy apartment in Kiev that I still have to this day. So he asked me if I can teach him how to trade. So yes, I can do that. I offer a service like that. I do one on one mentorships. He said, OK, I would like that you mentor me. Just tell me the price. I said, it might be quite expensive for you because you live in Ukraine. It's a lot of money. So I understand if it's too much for you, you know, so just let me know. You know, so I said, it's $5,000. I said, yes, it's a lot, but I'm willing to invest in myself and to pay it. I said, okay, no problem. Here was something I want to mention directly. I did misunderstand him about one thing that he actually told me before I came and saw him again in Odessa. So I had to go from Kiev to Odessa. I went with the train. I took my iMac with me so that I could show him on the bigger screen and just on a MacBook how to properly set everything up and how to trade. I arrived at my Airbnb. He came the next day. He paid me half the money up front. I started teaching him. Everything went fine. He came for the second day to this apartment. And then he said something to me where I was thinking in my mind, something is off here so i better ask him and now get this he told me he is working in an it company and he was planning to leave that company to make money with trading once he makes money with trading that's what i understood but he told me on the second day he quit his job to learn how to trade from me and to support his family with that money at the same time he had renovations going on in his apartment and he had, I think he has three kids. So now as a responsible teacher, I told him, you're insane. Why you are doing that? You should never do something like that. So, and I offered him to give him the money back and then we stopped it here and that he rather takes the money and supports his family with it because in Ukraine, you can live with that four or five months easily uh, if you don't count rent. And uh, he insisted that he still wanted to keep going and to learn to trade from. So I told him, OK, we're going to do that and you're going to give me the other half of the money, but never come back to me and tell me that I did not offer you to get out and take the money back if this is not working out for you. And he said, no, 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 I'm sure this is going to work for me. So this is what I want to do. My old job uh, bored me a lot and I need a change. And this is what I want to do. You know the risks. I offered you the money back. If you still want to do it, I'm going to teach you. But I felt now a lot of pressure on myself of responsibility to teach him properly everything so that he can support his family because I knew everyone. Everybody came to the apartment. Yeah, I saw his wife. I saw his kids. I saw everyone a couple months back. So I felt a lot of pressure on me to teach him properly. So, But the funny thing is, after we were done, I let him trade the first day with a little bit of guidance from me and he actually made already 10% on his portfolio. So which was amazing and 10% of the money that he spent. So uh, he went off quite happy. So I went back to Kiev to my apartment from Odessa. Every now and then I got some questions, which was fine, which I answered. Time went by and I remembered about him and was like, OK, I should better check on him. It's now a couple of months. I, I need to check on him. What's going on? Is he doing well? I did not hear anything. Does he make money? Is, uh, is still everything fine? I texted him 
And he actually said, yes, everything is fine. I make my money. I make 20, 30% every month on the money that I have right now. Uh, that's enough to support my family. Everything is fine. And I was shocked and happy at the same time because I was not sure that he can withstand the pressure to support for his family through trading. So he was determined enough to make it work for him. And that is also a key lesson to take away for yourself. If you have enough determination and hunger in you, you will make it work no matter how, whatever you want to do, you're gonna make it work. And he actually did this. And that was for me really incredible. And I'm really proud to say that he is one of my students. He's not the most profitable one in terms of portfolio size, but he was able to quit his job and to do something totally different, which gives him actually not only his freedom back, but also helps him to support for his family because he is tra traveling a lot. He's, of course, because of the war now stuck in Ukraine, he cannot leave, but he's stuck in Ukraine. But before the war, he was traveling quite a lot across Europe. And this money came actually from what he learned from me and through his own trading success. Now, I also want to tell you a different side of a story. In one of the programs that I offered afterwards, where I actually offered group coaching uh, that basically developed out of that one-on-one -on -one that I had with him, I had taught over 500 people at the time already, and all of them were making, were making money. But one lady in Canada uh, was not able to make this work. And I promised every of my students, if you struggle to make money, I will support you from the first day where you bought the course for a whole year to try to make it work for you and to support you in any way I can. So I did this also with this lady. The problem with this lady was she saw the right things in the chart, but acted the opposite way. Maybe you have this also sometimes where you think something, but you're saying the opposite. It happens from time to time. She did this all the time when it comes to trading like 90% of the time and she kept losing more and more and more money uh, and I actually just remembered her name so I will not mention her name but this lady in Canada knows who I mean because she was also Ukrainian there is there was only one Ukrainian lady that I taught three four years ago so she knows exactly if she's watching who I'm talking about this lady lost quite a lot of money by trying to make trading work for her and I have to mention that trading cannot be for everyone out of all the people that I taught, luckily, she is the only one that I know of that did not become profitable with my coaching. And I think it's really important to also mention that, that not all of my students, even though it's only one, are not profitable because I think if somebody sells a course and says, all of my students are making money because of my course, I think that cannot be true. You have always outliers, especially when you have a big, big number of students in your course. So there must be people that are not successful with it. So and I have this one lady. I supported her as I promised over the whole year. And when we went over that year already, at that point, I honestly, I was drained from trying to help her. It sucked me dry and I could not do it anymore. And at that point, I told her, listen, we tried it for so a long time. I think it's time to accept that trading is just not for you. And that was hard for me because it was also a loss for me. That was the first student ever that not made money on a consistent base to support their life with what I was teaching them. I felt like that I failed here, not only that person, but also at some, some part myself by not being able to teach that person how to properly manage her own trades that when she was doing the technical analyzation, were okay. She would have made money on it if she would have followed her own plan. But while she was executing the plan in the middle of it, she changed her mind and became emotional. And then these trades were ending up in a, in a loss. So, but I also understood at that point that like the next moment after I felt bad, the next couple of moments afterwards, I understood that I have to step away from that because this was not a me problem, that was her problem. Just because I always told her what to do, which was the right thing, and she counteracted against it. And at some point, everybody can understand if somebody is always counteracting what you are saying while you are trying to help them, you cannot help them anymore. And that was here 
unfortunately the case. Something else that I also learned when you are pricing your courses is the lower and the, the cheaper you make your course, the more problems you actually have with your students. Because you have people that are still complaining that it's too expensive. They are saying they did not get enough value for the money that they spent, which is insane. Then you have people that are asking a lot of questions even before they're buying the course, which normally also doesn't happen if you make more expensive, but I'm gonna get there into a moment. Just to wrap it up, you get a lot of headache with a low priced course. So why is that? Because the course is so affordable that many people can or have the purchasing power to buy this course. But for them, it might be a lot of money. But because they have a low to mid-sized income from a nine to five job, they don't understand the value that you're providing here because they potentially have never had an entrepreneur mindset. So they don't understand what it means to run a business because trading is a business, especially if you want to make an income, a monthly income to support your life out of that. Now, on the other side, if you have a high ticket course, and that's what I have right now, the people that are paying for the course, they are way more easy to handle. So why is that? Because they have the same mindset most of the time than I have already. And they understand if they pay a bigger amount, they get also, cannot speak for every course out there, I can only speak for mine, but they get also value provided for that money. Or let me put it this way, they understand the value provided that they are paying for. If I would sell my course for $100 just to get the numbers in, and then three months later, I sell the same course for $15,000 and I get a couple of people in there, I am gonna tell you the couple of people that pay $15,000 will be way easier to manage than the people that paid $100. And the reason for that is not only the mindset, but it's also the people that pay $15,000 for a course, they understand also they have to work themselves to make it work. Some, that was another thing that I learned from having a lower priced course, that if you make it too cheap, people want to be spoon fed. They want that you give them the trades, even though they should go and watch the course and understand what I provide in my teachings to go and be self-efficient and make their own trades. Somebody that pays $15,000 understands this. If I tell this person, hey, look at all the lessons that I have here. When you are done with the lessons, go and do some charting on your own. Send it to me. I, have a, I, I will have a look and I will only tell you if it's good or not. And then you go and trade. Somebody that pays $15,000 will do that. A person with $100, $100 will not do that. They will come back and have a lot of questions along the way. And this is just something that I also learned from having so many students that if I have a course that is a little bit more expensive, that the people that are buying this course, they are way easier to manage and giving me less of a headache. And they actually also have less questions because these people understand uh, that they have to learn it by themselves. Of course, with the guidance of the program that they have bought in. Something else that I, that I have observed over the last couple of years running three different uh, programs was that it did not really matter if people from a high ticket course or from a lower priced course were in my programs. What I saw in both of them was that these people liked to be in a group with other students for exchanging ideas to ask how is your trading going, how is uh, your portfolio what coins are you looking at? So just kind of a co-working space, of course, virtual space, where they can exchange each other. Uh, hence why I implemented for all my programs a chat group where my students can exchange themselves and also about their progress. Plus that I offer them a weekly or twice a month opportunity to hop on a call with me and everybody else in the, in the program to talk about their progress, where they are struggling and why uh, and where potentially they still need a little bit more help. And because these groups are held quite small and also not everybody is an attending that bought the program, I can more or less attend everybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis while being in a group call with everybody else. So when I explain something, not only that person gets his answer, but potentially another person that had the same question 
gets also his response there already, which is then also time saving for me because I don't have to hop on a one on one with that person and explain it again when I did it already in the group call. And then my last takeaway from having so many students over the last couple of years is that when I am providing live coaching sessions, these were always working way better for my students than having recorded content. So now, of course, I have now a complete recorded course with all my knowledge in it, without any guidance, without any extra calls. But this is for people that completely want to learn only by themselves. There are people out there, they don't want to go on calls with other people. They just, yeah, basically learning everything by themselves. And from there, they're then going off and doing their thing. That's absolutely fine. I'm also not a huge fan of hopping on calls with people, getting taught things. I do it from time to time and because I, I still buy other people courses. Not It doesn't have to be crypto related specifically, but I still continue to learn as everybody should do. So, and there, I'm not a huge fan of uh, hopping on calls and uh, speaking to people. I, I prefer to watch uh, recorded content because I can go back and forth as I want and I don't have to ask the person to repeat themselves uh, and it's just more convenient for for myself but of course in my higher price programs there you get calls with me and my team to guide you through your trading journey so that is a wrap for today's video i hope it gave you a little bit more insight uh, what's going on in my program and also what uh, i learned from having over 2000 students in the last uh, five years uh, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure that you subscribe here also to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.